Uh, hey guys, Aaron here. I'm in my kitchen. I'm basically tinkering around trying to cook some food. And as always, I have something tasty that I am working up for you guys today. So that's my beef short rib recipe. It's gonna be beer braised beef short ribs. So delicious, very tasty, really kind of a nice comfort food. I'm gonna add in some garlic and some onions and some carrots. And then I'm gonna also add in about a full bottle of beer and let it basically braise and slow cook up in the oven for about three to three and a half hours um, on about 350 degrees. So it's gonna be a really simple recipe and something that you're really gonna like it. And if basically my mouth is kind of watering just talking about it, but please tune in for that. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That is really important to me. It really makes these videos possible and it really is exciting to see the community grow. And we're gonna be doing some fun things. Beer braised beef short ribs on the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up our short ribs. I'm gonna try to preserve this so I can actually save it and wrap it up and freeze the rest if I so choose. I'm gonna use a paper towel just to pat them dry. And this, the reason why I'm patting them dry is because I'm gonna sear these in the Dutch oven and they just sear better when they're like less wet. To start preheating the oven, I'm gonna use my peeled garlic and I am going to I'm gonna put the garlic into the Dutch oven. Once things are starting to saute, I'm gonna do it for the secondary sweat so it doesn't burn. All right, so go there. All right. We're use about probably a quarter of a cup of grapeseed oil, super great for you, and amazing. Um, and it's very healthy cooking fat to use. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so now I'll take these short ribs and put them in the Dutch oven. All right, nice, very nice color. All right, gonna add some salt and pepper. A generous amount. About a tablespoon of each. These are ready to go into the CBS. Our goal is to get like a nice little brown color on them. Oh, that goodness! That fawn, that nice brown, brown bits there. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our chopped vegetables. Let those saute for a moment. See that right there? Nice. So, let just go ahead and add those in there. 
and it's going to kind of like just deglaze a little bit too all the goodness in there. See all the nice little brown bits are starting to deglaze. Just kind of that's all flavor. So nothing scorched, just nicely browned. Just letting all those kind of things just kind of evenly coat with the salt, pepper. See how they're starting to release all those juices and the sugar from the onions. And it's all basically deglazed this entire pan. So all those little stuck on bits, the fat and juice. The garlic powder to here. It's a little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of paprika. And then some red pepper flakes too. Not too much. So that garlic right there. Alright, so now since it's kind of actually like cooking down, we're going to add in some tomato paste right here. About three tablespoons. And about a half a cup of flour. Maybe it's not, maybe, not, maybe a little less than a half a cup. Half a cup of that. Let that nicely just kind of deglaze. It comes a nice little simmer. And guess what? It's happy hour. I'm gonna go ahead and add in about a full bottle of beer. So now I'm gonna basically take my short ribs and add them back in. I'm actually going to start a little bit of a sauce slash glaze for the short ribs once they come out the oven. So I'm going to start with a lemon and some olive oil, of course, and some salt and pepper, basically. And then I'm going to also add in some rice wine vinegar and a couple of secret ingredients. <laughs> About a Eighth of a cup of olive oil, our rice wine vinegar, red pepper flakes, and about two tablespoons or two teaspoons of honey. Now I'm going to add in some lemon zest to brighten it up. I'm going to slice that lemon open and use almost all of the juice of it. All right, it's about a tablespoon of that. Now I'm going to whisk it together. All right, so now we're going to basically take our chives. I'm going to rinse those off. And chop these up for our garnish. 